Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the weapons of hot dogs, horseshoes and hand grenades. Today we're taking a look at a big boy. This is the NTW20. And as you can see it's long. It's very long. So what is this? Well it's a uh, South African anti-material rifle made by Tony Nuttinu or something like that. I believe Ian from Forgotten Weapons has an interview with him, but correct me if I'm wrong. And it is a big boy. It's designed in 1995 for the South African uh, Defense Force. It was uh, made for... Well, the Indians also wanted to adopt this, but weren't able to following some sanctions on South Africa. And this is a big boy anti-materials rifle. It uh, has a side magazine like the FG42, which we sadly don't have that game in the game and it is chambered in this chungus cartridge which is uh i don't remember where to check that ah 20 by 82 millimeters so it comes in three different cartridges one of them is 20 by 82 millimeters it also comes in the cartridge that the hispano cannons from uh, world war ii which the spitfire used for example used and some uh, br uh, u.s navy aircraft as well it doesn't come in the same cartridge as the Vulcan minigun has, though, which US aircraft use now, also 20mm. But this is a chungus gun. It is not made to shoot from uh, the hip. You, you'd probably die if you were to shoot it uh, holding it. So it's made to shoot with the bipod, with a scope. It has a itsy weeny picatinny rail up top, so if we go grab an attachment, there should be plenty here. Let's go grab uh, this thing, because why not? Does this work? Ta-da! So, uh, there you go. It comes with an integral uh, scope, which is uh, mixed magnification. Come on. Which goes up to... 14 times So it is of course a uh, Bolt or it is of course an anti-materials rifle. So it does uh, is meant for a bit longer range Let's see let's get this Down to our level let's go to 200 meters Let's remove this thing we don't need that Let's uh, set that to 200 meters. And uh, let's see, let's rise this up a bit to be our height. Yeah, we have 15 times soon right now. Oh. Rem remember to take off the safety, helps a lot. And if we now. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Did I mention it's a high explosive round? So it goes boom. It is possible t technically to do a high fillings like high explosive on a 30 mm or a 12 50 cal round. However, in the case of uh, 50 cal, they just haven't done it, and it is a lot easier when you go to 20 mm because uh, 20 mm is a lot bigger. If we uh, just grab a 20 mm, let's go uh, find this one. You have a 50 cal. Like length five, they're the same. But the bullet itself, like the cartridge is the same size, but the bullet on the 20 millimeter, it's longer and it's thicker for that beautiful high explosive fun. It is a bolt action. I guess it's not really bolt pop, but it kind of is. It's kind of in between since the action isn't really behind, but it isn't in front either. It's like eh, a bit in between. Can I take a look at the sheet? Eh, that was a bad shot. Let's try again. Are you glitching on the magazine? Or are you glitching on something else? Let's stand a bit further. Let's not go for that. Ah. Okay, let's see. Target acquired. Terrible shot. Let's go to something closer. Ah, not, not what I was aiming for, but whatever. One drawback that this thing has 
It's a three round magazine. The bullets are just too big. And the Hispano version actually only has one shot because it's just too big of a round to have a magazine. Kaboom! <laughs> This is kind of almost like a portable cannon. I mean, it is a portable cannon because in a lot of cases, I think 15 millimeters is usually what they call the cutoff between a cannon and a machine gun, so or a, a cannon and a gun. So above 15 millimeter, it is a cannon. But don't quote me on that. I just know that from aircraft where above 15 millimeter, you used to call them cannons, and above, it, uh, under, it's usually machine guns. Bye bye. Yeah, boom. <laughs> um, another drawback, of course, is its size and its weight. This thing requires a two-man crew just because it's too heavy to carry on yourself. I believe it's like twenty plus kilo. Not ideal to carry on your own when you also have to carry ammunition and and other equipment, food, clothing or uh, not clothing, um, food, drink. Then having a 20 kilogram gun to carry as well. Not gonna end well. Let's try to shoot it uh, off hand, uh, on the hand. <sighs> you would not be able to do that in real life. Ah, oh, great thing. Anyways, this big boy has been the Daniel NTW20. 20, of course, for 20 millimeter. I do hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and all of that. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!